Oh, my feet. What was that passe balance? Good to know my ring turns peaked in 2014. Oh, this beginning post though. I literally look like I'm dabbing. Hey guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. So for today's video, as you guys probably read by the title, I'm going to be reacting to some of my old gymnastics routines. Kinda nervous since uh, I haven't watched these routines in a while. Um, the way I plan this out is that I'm going to be reacting to one routine from each of my first five competitive years, and then I also planned it out so that I will be reacting to one of each apparatus. Minus ribbon though, because I didn't do ribbon at that age. So yeah, we'll see if there's any sort of glow up or something. But yeah, let's just get on with the video. Okay, so the first routine we're going to be reacting to is my free routine from 2011. It's the only routine from that year that's on YouTube. That was my first competitive year. I think I was eight at the time. I only did free and rope. Oh, here we are, okay. I'm not gonna play the music just cause copyright and everything. I'll put a link to all these videos down below in case you guys wanna watch them with music and everything. But yeah, for copyright purposes, I'm not gonna be including the music here. So tiny. So tiny, what? This is almost 10 years ago. Solid balance. Oh boy, that was like half a passe turn. Great. Love these steps. This music was from Ratatouille, I think. Oh, nice. No oh, that was such a great body wave. Can we just go back for a second? What was that body wave? My arms, though. What? Okay, also that was a pretty good job. Nice. Ah, oh, my beautiful feet. My beautiful feet. My arms, though, like... My arms are like... Robot, where's the... There's like no fluidity in my arms, they're just like robots. This is a great routine. I actually came first for this routine, believe it or not. I think that was the slowest split roll I've ever seen. You can clearly tell I was early there. I was just like this in five seconds. Okay. Well, that was a great start. Next, we are moving on to 2012. I'm going to be showing you guys a rope routine from that year. Okay. Here we are. This is the same suit from the last one. It's already a lot faster than the last one. My feet. Also, where's my expression in all of this? I'm like. Oh, I remember feeling so cool for doing that thing. Oh, oh, nice. A solid ring balance there. <laughs> but what was that preparation? And a, another solid half a turn. Nice, nice, nice. And remember this being the hardest thing ever. Wow, I caught it. I think my pass turn improved. In a year, I did one instead of half. Oh, my feet. What was that pass balance? But... That pass balance, though. Okay, stag jump still decent. Nice, nice, lots of skipping here. I remember that being a pain. Right at the end of my routine too. Oh, lovely.
I have no words. That that was a beautiful attitude turn. Better than I can do now. Oh, I remember always dropping this fist. Let's see what happens here. Oh my god, I caught it! Nice. Nice ending. Okay. Next is going to be 2013. Ooh. We're gonna do clubs for 2013, okay? This is my first clubs routine. I'm, as I said, I'm not putting the sound here, but the music is Angry Birds. So go watch that with the sound, it's like down below, because that, that was a great routine. This was my first international competition, my first time, yeah, competing outside of Canada. I, I think I actually won for this uh, routine in my age group, but I was put, I think, a level lower. <laughs> I already see an improvement here, which is a good sign. At least I have expression here now. This is actually, not gonna lie, I think I was pretty good with clubs for my first year. Oh, wow. Don't even know how I did attitude, attitude turn there. <laughs> These clubs look so big for me. They're senior size clubs and I was using them when I was 10. I'm sorry. I caught the risk, and then I do a cartwheel, and I don't pick up the club. Can we just check that out again? Did I just like forget to pick up the club or something? Oh, I remember once doing that and the club flying across the carpet. Thankfully it didn't here. I grabbed my like so low in that ring balance, what? Nice, lots of time wasted by just running in spot, doing nothing. Oh boy. I think it, well, at least it was more turns than the last year. Oh, I remember these steps here. Yes! My lovely preparation, my lovely feet, and that beautiful drop at the end. Nice finish! Oh my god, I remember I had like the the head of the club, I had my fingers inside the head of the clubs and I was doing this like antennas. It's great stuff. Well, honestly, I do think there was some improvement from uh, the previous year. Did have more expression. I think, I mean, clubs is pretty hard, I think, when you're younger, so. Honestly, not bad. Okay, 2014, I think I was doing hoop. Okay, here we are. Oh, by the way, I had this routine for three years. And I got so sick of it by the third year. So this is my first year with this routine. Ah, uh, my favorite Gypsy Kings. That Ponche turn was rough. Like, we're, we're just not gonna talk about that. Plus, I put my hand on the ground at the end. Okay. That's probably my first year doing Ponche turn. Oof. Yes, these steps. still sucked here. I don't think my feet have improved at all here since the first video. My arms are just like... What? Why was that a better ring turn than I do now? Good to know my ring turns peaked in 2014. Nice. Oh, I remember these steps. I remember one competition that could flew out of bounds right here. Oh, my first year. Oh, I dropped it. Fun story. I've had that cartwheel mastery where I pass it from one foot to the other, like, every year since that year. I think that was my first year having it. 
and I've basically had in every routine since then. Wait, can we go back and see that jump? Oh, lovely. Not bad, honestly. That was 11 here. Oh, I remember thinking this risk was so cool. Honestly, pretty good risk, though. Okay. Cool. Yeah, definitely an improvement there as well. Except for my Ponche turn, that was rough. I mean, that was probably my first year doing it, but still. We've come a long way since then. 2015, we are doing Ball. And this was from Miss Valentine. And that was actually my first time going to Europe. So that's cool. Okay. Let's see. Oh, oh, this beginning pose though. I literally look like I'm dabbing. Okay, just, just look at that. That's great. I think this was before though, like, all that stuff was a thing, but that was a great beginning pose. And oh, my music was La Vie en Rose. So, also, this was my favorite suit. It's like, Okay, so if you remember my Q&A video when I was talking about my favorite suits and stuff, yeah, I take it back, this was one of my favorite ones. You might be able to see it better in the video, but yeah, I forgot this is, oh, this was one of my favorites. So it wasn't mine, it was one of my, fr one of my friends, but, oh, such a nice suit. Anyways, back to the routine, we haven't even started yet. But anyways, okay, let's start. Stop rambling. I love this routine. Oh, this thing is always painful. What? I had MG balance and that was actually really good. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, nice. I dropped on the jump. Hey. Okay, Ponche turns got better there. And also, I didn't drop it, because later in the year, I, I did that at a competition, and the ball flew out of the carpet. And that was my first time using a spare. But thankfully, we didn't drop it here. Oh, I think that was a drop. Nice. Ooh, big, big stuff there. Wait, wait a second. What was that risk? Good to know I currently have the same risk in my ball routine as I had five years ago. I literally have the exact same risk, or I might have just changed it. Wow. Oh, nice. I was definitely supposed to do something else there. Nice. Pretty good poche balance. I had a lot of steps. This is my third set of steps. Oh, come on, let's do this last risk. Yeah! I remember that risk being such a pain. Nice. Okay, well. That is all for the routines that I have here. Um, honestly, I think there actually was quite a bit of improvement during those over those four years. I was surprised. I, I thought I was terrible all those years, but... But there was some improvement, so that's good. And I guess, I guess we just went up from there. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see a part two. I'd love to make a part two. Also, comment down below which routine you like the best out of these ones. If you thought there was any like improvement over the years or anything you just found really funny. Let me know down below your thoughts on any of these routines from when I was younger. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed going back and watching these old routines and kind of seeing where I started from. But yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on my post notifications and all that stuff, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday with a brand new video. Bye!